And we thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Governor Mike DeWine is calling for an overhaul of the state's juvenile justice system. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fahmy tells us what he wants to see done. Natalie. Jared, Jennifer, this report here has more than two dozen recommendations. And while some of them already have their funding, others are still just ideas. While we have our work cut out for us, I truly believe these recommendations will serve as a roadmap. After nine months of work, the governor's juvenile justice working group has put forth 26 recommendations that the director of the Department of Youth Services, Amy Ass, says will reshape juvenile justice in Ohio. For example, one recommendation is increasing behavioral health resources for youth. This can be such a critical piece to our work with the youth. And state lawmakers have already allocated $287 million to help with projects like replacing three large juvenile campuses with 12 smaller ones. Shifting away from facilities that are institutional in character and design and moving towards building environments that are trauma informed with trauma responsive practices. Plus the creation of new community correction facilities. Right now, the three largest counties in the state do not have one and are the three most in need, according to the governor. Other recommendations include ways to remedy staffing issues, a law to increase the minimum age for youth commitments to DYS from 10 to 14 years, and one to prohibit certain first-time youth offenders from being placed at a state facility. One of our top priorities is the protection of children. All children deserve the opportunity to live up to their full uh, God-given potential, and that means all children. Governor Mike DeWine tells me he has not yet had any conversations with lawmakers here at the State House about actually crafting that legislation to enact these recommendations. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.